Dr. Axe here. Welcome to another episode of Maximize Your Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making the zucchini skillet. Now this is a recipe that I personally love and it's great to do for lunch, uh, kind of pair it up with like a turkey burger. It's great for dinner, uh, do it with some sauteed or grilled chicken. But again, the zucchini skillet, I think you're going to love it. And we're going to start off here with obviously zucchini. And uh, actually, no, we're going to heat up the pan first. I'm going to take some coconut oil here. And you can use coconut oil. Uh, there's other good oils to use as well, but I tip coconut oil tends to be my favorite. And we're going to do about two big tablespoons there of the coconut oil. Now, coconut oil is great because it'll actually help your body burn fat, lose weight, has lauric acid and medium chain fats in it. Now, next thing we're going to do here is do, you're going to add in about three zucchinis, okay? And what I do with the zucchini here is I'll take it and just simply... Uh, cut it into, you know, not quite quarter-like slices, but, you know, just kind of thin slices like so. And so you're going to do this with about a total of three zucchini, okay? And it's up to you. Now, if they're bigger zucchini, you may only need to use two. Now, zucchini is great because it's loaded with vitamin A. It's also got folate and a lot of potassium. And potassium is very important for lowering blood pressure, for heart health, and overall for recovery in athletes, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take this zucchini here three total zucchini, and we're going to add those into the skillet, okay? Kind of get those mixing up here. Next thing we're going to add in is about one cup of tomatoes or two medium-sized tomatoes, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get the tomato going here. That's really, that burner's pretty hot, so it should tone down here in a minute. All right, and so what I'm going to do with these tomatoes is kind of cut them up into, into a fourth and then just start, start cutting just like this. All right, and tomatoes are great. Tomatoes actually contain lycopene, and lycopene uh, is actually great for men's prostate health. Also, tomatoes, uh, the, the lycopene in tomatoes help uh, darken your skin. It's actually, there's studies have been shown that it helps reduce sunburn. Okay, so we're gonna take these tomatoes here, continue uh, to get these all chopped up. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna add in here are the tomatoes into this recipe. A few more things. We've got some sliced uh, olives here, okay? And you're gonna just simply, I took olives, just cut them all in half. Olives have got omega-9 fats, known as monounsaturated fats. It's really good for women's hormones. It's good for your joint health. You wanna get some good, uh, you know, some good fats here. We've got, again, about a half a cup of olives or a fourth a cup of olives. You can actually go ahead and toss in there. Next thing we're gonna add in is some basil, okay? And typically, they rec you know, we recommend about two tablespoons um, of uh, dried basil, but we're going to add, add in quite a bit here. Simply ch kind of chop it up. All right, we're going to take the rest of this basil plant and just simply just start cutting the leaves. And basil has a lot of properties that will actually, it's a, a natural immune booster. So actually basil is great for your entire immune system. We're going to go ahead and finish off this leaf here. Simply take the basil drop it in okay next thing we're going to add in is onion you're going to put in about one fourth uh one fourth of a, of an onion here okay or a fourth a cup of onion we're going to get that sliced up here okay I'll just cut it in just a little bit more all right good we're adding in the onion into this recipe. Next thing we're going to add in is some garlic powder. Okay, you're going to use about one eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're going to take that and simply kind of dash it all over the place. And then you're going to add in about a half a teaspoon of sea salt. I just kind of take my fingers here, just kind of take this, uh, chunks of sea salt and drop it over there. Okay, now what we're going to do is just kind of let this cook. What I'm going to do is kind of turn the heat back up a little bit and use a spatula and just start getting everything all mixed up here together. Okay. And what you'll do is continue to mix it for a while. And once you get it all mixed up, what we're gonna simply do is put a lid on it, okay? And we're gonna let it cook here on about medium to medium high heat We'll let it cook for about the next, you know, next couple minutes. But every two minutes, I kind of get in there and stir it up again. But we'll be back in about five, six minutes and let it, let it cook for a little bit. All right, I'm back. We've been letting the zucchini skillet cook about, about six minutes or so, okay? And so now you're going to simply take the lid off. Again, you can kind of stir it around a little bit more. 
Uh, but really it's ready to serve, so we're gonna go and take it here and dish it out on the plate. Mm. Really it's looking great. Cool, okay. There we go, ready to serve. Again, great with lunch. I like doing it with a turkey burger, great for dinner, doing it with some uh, steamed, uh, steamed chicken, sauteed chicken or grilled chicken. But you've gotta try out the uh, zucchini, uh, zucchini skillet. <laughs>